All right, good morning. It is day 16. We're at about 10 a.m., 12 and a half miles in. I left Damascus this morning around 4 a.m. in the rain, and it only rained for about the first hour or so of hiking for today, and it's managed to hold off. It's overcast, and sun tried to come out for a second, but yeah, it looks like we'll probably have more rain this afternoon. But this isn't actually pretty pleasant right now. The trail has been too wet. And the trail in Virginia is definitely a lot more well maintained than it had been in uh, Tennessee. Um, yeah, it's not as overgrown. Uh, it's a little bit less rocky so far. And right now we're on the Virginia Creeper Trail, the part where it coincides with the AT. And so it's really easy walking right here. But, uh, yeah, the plan for the next four days is I'd like to get to Woods Hole Hostel, which is 154 miles from uh, Damascus. Getting there by the end of the day on Tuesday, today is Saturday, would be a challenge. It'd be like my biggest push so far. So we'll see if that may happen the trail opens up enough but probably get in there Monday morning and that's where my mail drop is so yeah we'll see we'll see what happens but uh yeah excited to be in Virginia now and hopefully this bad weather period will be behind us really soon and we'll get some sunshine again but yeah check back in later Yep, this is the trail today. Very wet. All right. Um, it's a little late doing this update here for day number 17. And the reason for that was the weather. Um, it dumped rain all last night. Um, I set up camp in the rain, took down camp in the rain. I got to the shelter that I wanted to stay at last night, the Y shelter, I think it's called, and it was packed. Um, no room. So I was like, well, I'm tenting, so might as well get like an extra mile or two in and find a somewhat dry stealth spot. and basically found a spot that wasn't a puddle and decided to set up my tent there and, and you know I was you know dry for the most part in my tent got a little little damp um, definitely you know the most I have put my tent through with rain in a night and it held up pretty well just a single wall tarp tent pro trail um, you know get a little damp inside but you know I survived haven't really had a chance yet to dry it out, though it finally stopped raining a couple hours ago. It was raining hard all morning. Um, I had service for like a hot second before and a weather alert came through that this part of Virginia, southwestern Virginia, got something like seven inches of rain. I don't know how long a time period, but I pretty much had rain every day since Wednesday and it's Sunday afternoon right now. So last I looked at the forecast said tomorrow um, looks like some more rain. Hopefully it won't be as bad. It's hard to imagine it can possibly be as bad as it was yesterday. So we'll see. And then the rest of the week after tomorrow looks like we'll get some nice weather again. So I'm really looking forward to that. Um, also with the rain, I got really cold hiking this morning. Um, it was the first time I had actually used all my gear, like, um, bug. My, uh, Merino wool base layer had that on for the first time. My Bora gear rain mitts had those on with my, um, surgeon gloves under them. And my Patagonia Houdini over my hiking shirt that I normally wear 
and then my poncho, frog tucks poncho on over that. And I was still pretty cold this morning. I remember just eating breakfast in the shelter. And I was quite chilled, so. Yeah, I'm glad it stopped raining. And also with the rain, um, you know, I, put, I was put on soaking wet clothes this morning. And I got some of the worst chafing I've had in many, many years to the point where it was bleeding. So I just had uh, like a late lunch like I normally do in the shelter and, you know, tried to dry it out, put some gold bond powder on it. It was actually bleeding and I put some Luco tape on over where the bleeding was. And that along with just kind of drying out a bit seems to help. It's still a little bit uncomfortable, but it's not nearly as painful as it had been. So. Yeah, that's what's going on day 17. We're looking at like 28 miles today. I didn't get to camp till like 6 a.m. Waiting for the rain to hopefully slow down to get out of camp. But, you know, gotta do what you gotta do. And um, yeah, you just gotta deal with the rain. That's part of the, that's part of the ET. I always knew rain was gonna be a factor. Out here was hoping that, you know, maybe I wouldn't get as bad of a rain as as we had last night and yesterday and this morning but it is what it is so you just got a deal and you know the weather will be nice again and I just met someone who a former through hiker in the last shelter where I just uh you know was taking care of some of that chafing and he told me central Virginia and northern Virginia I can really make up some miles there so if I can just kind of stay steady through these bad weather days, you know, high 20s isn't going to kill me. And then when the terrain and the weather cooperates, push those 40s and that'll really bank some miles because that's what I'm going to need, need to have to have a shot at this once I get up into uh, New Hampshire and Maine. So. You know, being in Southern Virginia, it's weird to talk about all oh, of New Hampshire and Maine, but um, I'll be there eventually, I guess. So, yeah. All right, well, that's what's going on right now. So I'll check back in, check back in tomorrow. Not sure how well you can hear that, but that is crazy loud. And then there's those really nice houses over there. Hopefully it's not the loud for them. So this is the iconic Windamood School from 1894. And apparently it's Trump magic in here. Alright, one quarter of the way there. Alright, it's about 11.30 here on day 18. Got about 15 miles in uh, so far for today. And looking to do about another 20 to get to the Chestnut Knob Shelter. And uh, apparently the shelter is all enclosed and it's on top of a uh, mountain. And there are some storms in the forecast for this afternoon. So um, hopefully, you know, it won't be too bad the weather this afternoon. Right now, it's been, it's actually been the nicest it's been in a while this morning. The sun was out when we went under uh, I-81. I actually had my sunglasses on, but it's kind of clouding up again. And yeah, we're probably going to have on and off thunderstorms this afternoon and then finally the rest of the week looks nice and dry. So yeah, we'll see what happens with the weather, but um, hoping to do, getting to Chestnut Knob would be 35.7 for today, which would be a really solid day. Um, and then with the good weather window coming, really want to be in the mid to high 30s and it's with the banks of miles here because I'm like right on pace right now, but I really do want to get ahead 
so I have some some miles to give further north when the trail gets harder. So apparently though, Central Virginia, someone said I think after Waynesboro, which I'm not sure how far I am away from Waynesboro right now, uh, we just passed a quarter waypoint. Um, so yeah, we'll see. But yeah, we'll see what happens with the weather today. And regardless, we should be able to get 20 miles in and then hopefully there will be room in the shelter tonight. And then that, the other night when I was SOL, trying to get into the shelter, hopefully that's more of a one-off and not a harbinger of things to come. So yeah, we'll check back in later. All right, good morning, day 19. It is about 11 a.m. right now. I already have over 18 miles in for today. I got up at two and was walking a little bit after 2.30 this morning because last night I decided to cut the day short around uh, 4.30 because some storms are coming in and I knew uh, some good weather was was going to be happening the rest of the week. So I figured why hike another four hours in the rain when I can just get, get up and get in those miles in the dark. But hey, it wasn't raining. So that's nice. And finally, we have blue skies and sunshine today. So trails are dry. My feet are dry. For the first time, though, I'm like a mile away from the next shelter. I might take my feet, my shoes off. Just kind of air things out for a few minutes. And I'm going to try to get close to a 40 today is the plan. And the weather's perfect, so I have no excuse not to make it happen. And really take advantage of the good weather that we should have here for the rest of the week. And try to make up for some lost miles. I'm, well, staying at the shelter last night, doing the math, I was at like 31.2 which is just a tenth of a mile behind the pace I need to average, so obviously not a big deal. But uh, yeah, I need to. Re I really do want to get ahead um, in a significant way here soon, and this is a perfect opportunity to make that happen. So um, really excited. The weather has improved. The last few days are really tough, but but the good times are back, so it's so time to get after it. So it's uh, probably around three o'clock right now. Have uh, just about 27 miles in the bag for today. Started hiking at 2.30 this morning, which is my earliest start yet and kind of had a relaxing day took a couple of long breaks um my sleeping pad has a leak so i tried to fix that i found the hole and i put some tape on it last night and then i it didn't really work it, it fixed it a little bit but it was still leaking and it was pretty much flat when i when my alarm went off this morning so I put some crazy glue on there and then the tape over that. So hopefully that'll hold, but man, the weather is beautiful. The trail is nice and smooth and the miles are just rolling by. I'm about three miles away from uh, a deli. So really excited to get, um, to get a nice meal. And then I'm going to push on until, uh, until it gets dark, that's the plan for today, and just really take advantage of the nice weather. Um, just a great day on trail today, so yeah, life is good.